Hello, well, I'm very excited to welcome you here in this uh, PNL in a day. Uh, we're gonna make a PNL in Power BI and we're gonna make it pretty. But first, we have to go and get some data. The data we're gonna get from uh, Microsoft, it's the AdventureWork database, so everybody can uh, do this and you can use it for your own further development. All the steps I have summarized in this uh, Power BI file. So, first of all, to get data, then to choose the CSV files, then we're gonna address to prep the data in a bunch of steps. And uh, this file is also, with all the source files, is downloadable. Um, if you go below this video, uh, you see the link in the description and you can click on it and you can download afterwards. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and uh, this course and um, let's go. So for the get data, we're gonna hop over to our, uh, to our internet and we type in AdventureWorks database. We're gonna go to the Microsoft uh, site and on the bottom you will see that there is an AdventureWorks data warehouse. So we're gonna download this. Uh, I already did it. I uh, already saved it for you in the folder. Uh, but if you want to work with me, just download it and save it on a local place. So now I've added the zip file to another folder. It is in get data. And in the get data, you can see all CSV files. And also I have put in a text file with the source. Next step, we don't need all the CSV files. For the PNL, actually we only need the account, the DIM account, the DIM scenario, the fact table with finance with all the transactions, and this file, normally to create the database, we use this for the headers because the CSV files are without headers. And we also add an organizational and a department group. That's not needed for the PNL, but it's nice to have. Um, all the needed files I put in a special folder, the choose CSV files. Let's go over there. Here you will see it. And in this text file, you see that all the headers, oh, where is my text file? On the other screen. Uh, that all the headers for the tables, dim account tables, are basically in this file. So that we're gonna need to put above the columns. So this third step, prepare the data, contains uh, several steps. So the first step is we change the CSV files to Excel file, and then we're gonna put on the headers on the Excel on the CSV file, and we're gonna make a table of it. And in the second part, we're gonna put all the tables in one Excel file, so Power BI can use one source. Then we're gonna convert the accounts table to a chart of accounts table, so that is special for the PNL. And then we're gonna add some extra tables for the PNL and for ratio. And the PNL table called a header table, and the ratio table is from Sam. So let's go. So I opened the text file for the headers of the columns, the column names. I opened a CSV file. And you can see here it is in one uh, column. So we have to do text to column. So to do text to column, we use a separator and then we save the file as an Excel file. Well, next I copied the Excel file to a second uh, sheet and I put on the headers. And on the next sheet, I made a table and I can rename the table. Let's take a look at the Excel file now. So you can see the steps. Step one, the DIM account. Step two, we have uh, put on the headers of the column names. And step three, we renamed the table. The next thing we want to do is to put all the files, all the tables uh, in the Excel files in one Excel file. Okay, so take a look at what's the result. We got uh, five tables. We got a finance table, account table, the organization table, the department group table, and the scenario. 
table. And here I just summarized the source for you. Now we're gonna, the next thing we're gonna do is go to see, to make the dim account table a chart of accounts table. And that's the next step. The accounts table have a parent child hierarchy and I already made a YouTube video how you can do it in M and how you can do it in X to flatten the table. In this case, I just did it with the hand and just uh, made a pivot table. So we made a pivot table uh, on the fact finance table. This is the general ledger table. We convert it to a pivot table and we can see, okay, on which account key numbers that are on the rows are the bookings. Also, um, you see here 2016, I converted the row, the date time, and I uh, postponed it six years. So then I, I just uh, pasted um, like text, but I just added six years because that's more in line with the dates uh, currently. So it's an old database and uh, we just reuse the data. Okay, back to the uh, chart of accounts. Uh, based on the account keys, we can see, okay, there are transactions. So these are the lowest uh, levels. You can also do the DAX method and you can see how many levels there are. Uh, just see my uh, other YouTube video. And we add now, we add just five uh, levels. And um, yeah, that's just a little bit of work. And then we go back to our next step. So we added the account levels. And now we're gonna add some extra columns and that's a specific for the PNL. So we want to know if it, uh, if, uh, it is a subheader and we want to show the detail or is it the lowest level? So that's why we added a subheader detail. We're gonna use that in DAX in the later, uh, later on. Also the header sort because uh, you want to sort your uh, levels, we have on the subheader level a sorting. And there are two columns, the sign and the report sign. We're going to use that in Matt Ellington's uh, formulas for the PL to show the right, uh, the right amount. So uh, normally in booking keepings, uh, revenue are negative and uh, costs are positive. Yeah, well, you want to show everything positive uh, for the user, but in DAX you want to show the right results. We're going to see that later. So for every account we determine, okay, is the sign positive or do we have to multiply it by one? So multiply it by minus one or multiply it by one. Now we have our chart of accounts and um, yeah, that we just discussed. Oh, or also uh, for Power BI, I also made a, an extra bottom line. And I said, okay, these are exactly the same rows of column headers that are fine. And some column headers I renamed and I did it in Power BI. So don't uh, rename it in Excel, rename it in Power BI, I will show you. Now we add some specific tables. The first table is a header table because a PL have always the same structure. A PL have a determined structure with subtotals, so you got revenue, net sales, and cost of sales, and then you want to see your gross margin. And then you want to have your operation expensive, and then you have operating profits. So that's a specific um, layout, and um, I just put in Matt Ellington because uh, that's the first one I saw using it. And uh, I rebuilt his p and in next video. I also made it for the uh, balance sheet and to make it more like a total uh, picture, we also add a financial ratio. I think you always say, hey, why is the cash flow? Well, the cash flow is very specific and very uh, yeah, very hard to make in Power BI because it is very specific for every company. So uh, I don't um, 
it is, it's important, but don't start with it. Uh, just start with the PL, the header tables uh, for the balance sheet, and financial ratio. Also, I added some extra columns just for fun for uh, to down drill. So in the finance table, I add a transaction description column based on the scenario uh, actuals, and I just added uh, with a con uh, contentinate uh, function, I just add a simple description and then the account, uh, the finance key, not the account key, the bookings row number. And also we're gonna add a budget table because uh, you always want to compare your numbers in finance, sometimes to past year, so in time, and sometimes you have some budgets you want to compare your Excels with. So that was not in uh, da uh, the data warehouse of uh, AdventureWorks, so I'll build it for you. Let's see that. So that's the last step. Just add the budget table. We go over to the Excel file again, and uh, this is the next Excel file. So with the fact finance table, with the description, with the uh, year, uh, six years later, and also with the new tables, the dim header, the dim balance sheet, the PL balance sheet, the ratio template, and now also the budget. And how did we make the budget? Well, not too difficult. I just grabbed the data from the actuals from the general ledger. I made a pivot table. Then I give a index, a multiply, and also for 2080, I just added a multiply. Then here you can see, okay, I just made a table out of it and we paste that in the separate worksheet and made this table the budget table. 